We are shifting gear now to talk about the latest events in Pakistan. Is with us political analyst Sadat Rahim. Hello, Mr. Rahim. Hello. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you for being with us. So let's go very quickly to the first question. Iran Khan was ousted from the prime minister's seat after Parliament's no confidence vote. Khan had denounced this before as a plot supported by the United States. What objectives would Washington be after by destabilizing this region in Eurasia? Yeah, thank you for uh, having me again. Uh, this was an important issue. Like this was the most critical situation for the first time, which happened like in decades in our country, like especially to a democratic government. Actually, the this uh, letter, like uh, which is filled with the American conspiracy, came on 7 March, and the vote of confidence was moved on 8 March. So, according to Imran Khan. This letter has a close connection with the vote of no confidence because American didn't like him because he challenged America on every forum. He tried to uh, unite the Muslim world and he visited Russia by defying and he tried to talk about the neutralization of Pakistani foreign policy just like the Indians. That's why according to America, according to Imran Khan, America hates him the most. So there was no other option because he's not corrupt though. They cannot blackmail him. The only way to oust him was like to use the other political elements and opposition leaders, just like America has been doing this, like in Latin America and other region of the of other parts of the world, like to use the opposition forces, bribe them and just overthrow the democratic elected president. So, like the, this happened in Iran, this happened in Chile, this happened everywhere. Like we have a whole record of American interference in the uh, politics of these uh, global South countries. So this also happened in our country, unfortunately. So Imran Khan is not going to back down. He said, you know, I will go to the street and I will tell people like uh, who was involved in this conspiracy with America and why America were thrown me. And he was joined by a large, larger crowd, like we have seen last day, like in Peshawar. The demonstration was huge. According to the rough media estimates, there were more than 500,000 people which participated. And it was the largest in the history of like uh, Peshawar city, though it's a small city, but this much number is a huge, uh, like uh, it was a shocking even for the opposition political parties. And let me tell you one, let me mention one more thing. Like Imran Khan told the opposition leaders, like uh, do not come into the hedge of this conspiracy, American conspiracy, let conspiracy, because if I was removed from the power and if I went to the public, then it will become very difficult for you to leave even here in Pakistan. So he did the same, he used the same strategy. He went to the street and he called for the people to support him like uh, he was a victim of this uh, greater conspiracy in Pakistan, which was launched by America and its stooges in our country. Yeah, right. Is there a, another question? Is there a background or are there precedents for this geopolitical move by the U.S. in the region and in Pakistan in particular? Yes, like uh, you better know that Pakistan is an important country for America. Like it has been like throughout Cold War. If you see the Cold War history, like America, Pakistan was part of Sinto and Sito. Like it joined by an American bloc against Russia in the region. And we supported uh, like Americans in Afghan war against the Soviets. So Amer Pakistan has always been strategic for Americans. And let me tell you, there is a famous book by a former British diplomat, Daniel Markey. The book name is like No Exit from Pakistan. In that book, like Daniel Markey openly says, like we doesn't want to see Pakistan either more stabilized or more unstabilized. Like we want to keep it normal so we can easily control it. So this happened like under Imran Khan, Pakistan, uh, Pakistan got, uh, if so, Pakistan attempted to free itself from the uh, Peters of the West. So he attempted to free the foreign policy, foreign policy of Pakistan. But he failed to do it because Americans didn't like it. And uh, this all happened. And this was unique case, let me tell you, in the 21st century, this was the unique case where America was openly involved in overthrowing the most popular leader of a certain country. Rahim, what is next for Khan's supporters and for the government in Pakistan? Yeah, Imran Khan, like in, la in his last speech, like last day's speech in Peshawar, he said, like, I will go city to city, 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 city to city. And like Karachi, you better know, there are a few cities, like, which are very important like, when it comes to the politics of Pakistan, especially electoral and politics of Pakistan. He told, like, the public, like in Peshawar, that I will go to Karachi and it would be the largest in the history of Pakistan, like, since the time of Zulfikar Ali Bhattu, who was very popular, like him, before. So we will go city to city like Lahore, Faisalabad, and major city, which are the stronghold hold of other countries, other parties, like political parties like PMNN and PPP, which are mostly involved in overthrowing his government. So he will tell the people like how the conspiracy was launched and uh, how he was overthrown from the power, how he was hated by the America, and uh, how this all happened in our country. So he will appeal to the people and just he appealed yesterday. He, he is like uh, through his speeches, his speech was very furious. 
So many political men, political leaders in Pakistan, they said like he's not going to back down. Like he was very furious in his speech, and he told like I will not going to back down until and unless I will get the justice and I will free my people. Like we have launched, he told his movement, his new movement as like freedom movement. Like uh, we are still not free. We have to be free like from this uh, like Western legacy or other stuff. So he launched this movement like you know, from street to street. So he will go to city to city, major cities, and he will tell the people like what happened to. Him. Obviously, and this is going to be a turning point for uh, the politics in Pakistan. Let me tell you. Thank you so much, Rahim. We don't have time for more. Okay. Thank